good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and in this video we will try to go into details of this palm we'll try to time things also and that is how we'll go ahead with this uh, you know in this video so we'll try to understand from each and every aspect and that is how we'll try to go ahead now first of all let us try to go by the structure of the palm okay so let's try to you know get the overall view of the palm now when you look into the palm this way right uh, that is the overall look at the fingers the fingers look quite tall actually okay they are uh, i would say they are medium length okay according to my observation over time this looks to be medium short fingers would come somewhere till here right and tall are further more taller so it's a medium length fingers and also the thickness is good if you see the finger thickness is quite good so this person uh, also will be a sort of person who will sort of like going into details of thing to an extent and also will be having good amount of energy right the capacity the stamina to do work now the stamina to do work is determined by the thickness of the finger okay if it is very thick the stamina would be high if it is very thin then the person will take its time and might be more precise but then will take more time and the energy will be a bit less in this case the energy again looks good and also what it appears is that the fingers are averagely long now you will also see that sat uh, jupiter finger looks quite tall now if you uh, you know even bring the uh, apollo close to it uh, apollo won't be very long so jupiter looks to be the strongest finger so this person will be having leadership qualities according uh, accordingly and will be able to manage other people well now further also look into the state of thumb okay the thumb does not seem to be looking bent it looks straight right so this person can be a bit rigid so on certain things on certain um, you know uh, on uh, on a lot of issues the person might have his own opinion and that is how the person will be rigid so that is what i mean looking into the hand okay we are not we are not comparing any line as of now we'll go into lines later but looking into the structure what we can make out is definitely the thumb is long and strong okay and uh, also because the thumb is you know set it so low again the person will have more humanistic tendencies again the thumb if we'll put it here it comes at least till here so the person will have a strong personality thumb being straight means again that the person is quite rigid and also looking into the fingers the thickness is good the person will have good energy and jupiter looks to be strong as of now further when we have a look into the mounts then see this mount looks quite raised okay uh, this also looks quite raised this looks quite raised so jupiter moon and venus look to be quite strong planets when we uh, further look into the mounts as well especially venus looks to be very protruding so this will again increase the humanistic tendencies of the person now let us try to go deeper into the palm in order to find out more and uh, we'll start with the mount of jupiter itself now when we look into the mount of jupiter you see so many vertical lines coming in over here over here and over here and over here right and this makes the person very ambitious now this is natural why because already we saw that the jupiter um, finger was very long and this further confirms that you know the the person has strong jupiterian tendencies strong drives very ambitious and all these sort of things are definitely seen in the hand so jupiter looks to be playing a very strong role further if you will see that there is a sort of when we look into this line and this line okay i marked it wrongly one second yeah when we consider it from here there is a proper cross on the mount of jupiter now again this can indicate that the person is very good in managing others or uh, uh, can be very um, uh, can be a very um, uh, you know sort of a person who can lead others so all these sort of things person who are able to instruct well all these people will have a cross on the mount of jupiter and that you can clearly see 
further you have see horizontal lines are also present and these are referred to as the sympathy lines so again this person as we saw also from the mount of uh, venus the person is very sympathetic so few points which are contra integrated in the palm is sympathy ambition uh, uh, capability to lead and capability to instruct others the person though can be a bit uh, you know a bit uh, rigid as we saw from the thumb formation okay so this is what jupiter is looking like again jupiter looks quite strong so that way jupiter is doing well now let us try to come to saturn now saturn has a very clear cut vertical line if you can see okay and there is a sort of a triangle formation over here like this and another triangle formation over here another symbol sort of getting formed like this okay that is how it is and this further goes like this and like this now i'll just remove the drawing you can see it yourself right so this is sort of a square formation that we talk about okay if you look into it it is a kind of square formation under the mount of jupiter and this is always a protection the person gets protected from difficulties in life because the most difficult uh, planet that is saturn is able to be supportive now because the square pattern is clearly seen the person will be able to um, you know get protected from difficulties in life and that's why it's a good formation also if you will consider this whole formation okay the square formation to be like a diamond you can see that the direction and the continuation is between jupiter and saturn we can always uh, uh, you know we can always uh, sort of get a feeling that jupiter and saturn are doing very strong and combined effect would be very good because this direction of this diamond shape symbol is exactly between them or somewhere between them so again uh, again uh, positive marks on saturn are seen positive marks on jupiter are seen that's why the person will be able to do well again when we see triangle sort of formations on the uh, you know on the saturn line or on uh, under the mount of uh, saturn it can also indicate towards interest in occult mastery in occult and deep amount of intuitiveness and the triangle always in also indicates towards skill you know so maybe the person is very skillful in terms of occult and things like that now further going into the mount of sun in the mount of sun you can see a clear vertical line is there but when we go down or trace it down it starts from somewhere passive mars and this is always an indicator of people who are uh, you know passively getting ahead you know it's like something like um, you know these people are silent and that's how uh, and and but they get aggressive and that's how they keep getting forward so that is also seen there are multiple sun lines if you'll see over here also and over here also so uh, there are a lot of uh, sun lines so this person again can be quite versatile somewhere will get recognized due to the passive aggressiveness which i see in the hand now again let us try to time it okay we'll we'll try to time this line so it comes from this point okay around this point okay so if we if we see this point would be around the age of 28 or so okay or maybe slightly after that so it would be interesting to understand from this person if anything happened at 28 29 or person got some direction or person got some challenges to be faced and that's why passively uh, the person got ahead because if you look into the headline we see a small island over here right and this seems to be starting at let's say 23ish okay and it seems to be getting 20 uh, ending at 28 so this 23 to 25 or 23 to 28 period could have been very stressful for this person and then after coming out from this stressful zone the person has become very aggressive but in a passive way so you know this mental hindrance which the person might have got between 23 to 28 would ha would have sort of help the person to get ahead in life and and then and and so after 28 the person has really taken on life and sort of have improved because the sun line looks to be coming there you will see this thin island being formed so it would be interesting to know what happened at 23 28 now coming at that symbol that is between 23 to 28 there is sort of an islandish formation what happens uh, with the island is it's not negative market only sort of 
you know whenever you try to concentrate or focus it becomes difficult it can also indicates the word it also indicates word anxiety and things like that so what it does is this um, you know island sort of restricts you it confuses you at time you don't know to go there or there and sorts of also makes you sort of spiritual so that is how this person uh, you know may have experienced or you know we have to really understand what happened between 23 to 28 but it looks stressful okay the person would have had difficulties in trying to concentrate trying to focus and might have remu- uh, might have remained a bit confused now further we see a lot of vertical lines under the mount of uh mercury this of course naturally gives the person that healing ability so the person will be able to heal others will be able to sort out others life and also to himself right again when we look into the sort of child lines these small markings which go here and this uh split on the heart line sometimes also indicate that there are high potential or the probability of having children is improved now you will see that there is a formation of girdle of venus which comes and then it ends on the uh, line over here so again the person will be a bit sensitive and uh, yeah so that is also seen in the hand now let us try to go line by line okay so this is the heart line which starts from here okay and it goes straight across like this now we see uh, that there is a branch that comes out from the heart line at this point it's sort of going down and another line at the same point is going down right for though it forms a trident but there will be some sort of an emotional difficulty which the person will face at this point so this approximately if we take it as zero okay this would come uh, to be at the age of let's say 20 or so so there is a possibility that around 20 okay or before or after that slightly the person might have gone through some sort of an emotional upset where the person would have you know uh, there is a possibility where the person really tried to become very pure or very emotional but then did not get that kind of support so that's why the person got upset or it may be that the person was connected to someone and that didn't go through so whatever might be the reason but then the hand what it indicates is some sort of an upset some sort of a difficulty at the age of 20 or so so this person has to uh, you know maybe had some difficult time at that point but further if we look into the heart line it looks fine right it goes till the end no drop down effect nothing happening so yeah it can be one sort of in major emotional upsets have uh, happening around 20s but apart from that you know i don't see anything more happening in this palm or in the heart line at least now let us try to understand the uh, lifeline now the lifeline starts fine and then it starts going down but you see there is some sort of a matter of confusion over here again okay so it looks to be that at that point see the headline and the lifeline are joint and then at this point sort of an island coming up and then this goes this way and this goes this way so we can say that the childhood can be a bit difficult is difficult maybe around 8 okay to to maybe 13 okay so from 8 to 13 there could have been some sort of a difficulty for the person and at 13 or so the person has come out of it so at 13 14 15 or so the person has become independent that's why both the lines have become separated right so if we time zero over here this would be around 8 13 and then as we go down this comes to be around 35ish okay and then when we go down this comes to be around 55ish and so on that is how the timing is right and same on the headline this would be 0 8 13 around here it is around 30 okay under mount of sun it's around 45ish or 50ish and that's how the timing is on the headline so considering all that uh, you you know it looks that way now you'll see a further parallel line which starts over here right now this would be around the age of let's say 17 okay so around 17 or 18 maybe the person got some sort of support some sort of help or became more spiritual anything might be true right so this is the line i'm talking about and then there is another parallel line so some sort of support the person started getting after that difficult zone after 13 14 maybe around 16 17 or so the person started getting some support or maybe for that matter late 
uh, around 19th or so also possible the reports and started getting some sort of a support now further the lifeline is marked fine okay so lifeline we can say it's going smooth okay but you do see there is a strong branch coming out going away now the branch comes at this point so there is a possibility that around 30s okay the person might decide to go abroad or might go outside for work yeah, or work has become very important for this person and there is a chance that the person might go to might go to foreign or something of that sort right but apart from that major change nothing else is seen on the lifeline it goes normal till the end so the person will have a strong and a good life and a, a proper lifeline is seen now let us try to also check into the fate line now the fate line has it starting from the uh, from the lifeline then it goes straight so maybe uh, when the person was small the person had a lot of uh, you know the person became independently mentally independent quite early we see we saw that pattern in the head and the lifeline also so again around 13 or so the person has started uh, you know uh, having a lot of independence mental independence even when with respect to career but initial part of career at least till 13 or so uh, there was a lot of influence of parents but after that the person has become very independent now the line uh, i'll just remove it so that you know you are able to see so the line is very fine uh, but then at after this point it is sort of deflecting away and another branch is coming so there can be again a lot of work uh, now we see that in 30s the person might have a tendency to go outside so there is a possibility that post 30 or in you know 34 35 ish to 40 ish the person might have had a bit of difficulty in job because the line is not that dark you see the line is visible over here but not that much over here but and it has multiplied so the uh, sort of fortune part has gone a bit down but then the responsibility looks to be higher because there are two lines so there are chances that after 30 ish or we are talking 32 to let's say 40 ish or so the load might have had to increase but the focus might have gone down yeah, but again the line comes back strongly after 45 or so and uh, that looks to be very positive but then there are two lines over here so there are possibilities of having two income sources but the load looks to be a bit higher now further we'll also try to understand the headline right now the headline starts from here okay it looks fine the person got independent at 13 and then there is a split which we are talking about and then it goes fine and it goes till the end it's a very long and a straight headline so the person is definitely a very versatile person okay might be whenever the line is straight and cutting across the whole palm people are generally more detail oriented they will analyze a lot before taking any decisions and that is how it works out for them also a long line does indicate towards versatility di diversification and things like that so overall the hand looks quite good okay uh, there are strong travel lines also you can keep seeing there are so many travel lines so the person will travel a lot to maybe all of the countries as well there are strong travel lines okay there is strong mount of moon the person will be soft-hearted okay the lifeline looks long and strong there is a chance that at 30 the person might go out or things like that the person has very strong sun lines straight line you see there is so many good vertical line one vertical line two and vertical line 3 so post 45 there is going to be a lot of support and there are vertical lines on mercury also so yes this person will do very well in life mentally the person is very evolved the person has got strong jupiter leadership qualities are strongly seen the person looks to be getting independent quite early some childhood difficulties are there uh, the person can have anger issues in the initial part of line as rahu lines are present also the person looks a bit sensitive emotional and expressive some uh, emotional upset seen at 20 and uh, overall uh, the person looks to be having a lot of positive marks hand looks refined cultured and overall it's a very very good palm um, you know only uh, you know the only drawback which i see in this palm is the person is very very diversified which is something like the person might go into too many fields rather than mastering a single field so th uh, that is uh, a detailed reading of this palm uh, the, uh, I will let you know as to the results 
I'll ask the person about the feedback and I'll share the results in the comment section so you can understand how palmistry works or where it has gone wrong and then we can discuss on that and sort of make more analysis so thank you for now i hope you got uh, more understanding from this depth analysis of the palm i'm shwetang take care bye bye